Hey everyone, welcome to part two of the six fan art challenge series that I am creating. As the title says, I will be drawing Joker from Persona 5 in Shigenori Sojima style, or in other words, the official Persona style. Going into this challenge, I knew this one is going to be the hardest out of the six that I've planned. A big part of the reason why is if you've watched the Cypher video, the part one of this challenge, I explained that trying to emulate somebody else's style is basically impossible to get right perfectly because styles are ultimately signatures. The way you move your pencil, your brush, etc, they're all going to be through your hands, your experiences in life put on a canvas. So it goes without saying that Shigenori Sojima's style is very unique to him. Especially when you're trying to emulate something that is this stylized. It would be a little bit ambitious of me if I were to copy the entire style down to every pixel. So for this one, I opted to think of what makes his style look awesome without having to compromise my own style and personal preferences. So for this one, I chose to obviously take the three tone compositions that he likes to use for a lot of his pieces. The very saturated backgrounds, and also white and black on the subject matter. The way he draws his characters, they tend to be using very thin lines, and I am personally not a fan of that, so I opted to use my way of drawing in this piece. In terms of the proportions, I slightly changed the way he draws Joker and just gave it my own way of drawing anime characters. It would take far too long for me to try to just get everything perfectly proportioned to what Persona characters look. And if I tried, it probably would look a bit wrong and disingenuous. For me, it's more important to capture the essence of his style rather than just getting it pixel by pixel perfect. That's really the main lesson I want to give here. When you are trying to learn somebody else's style, don't just try to copy them. Try to think about what you can do to put your own personal take on something. Remember, think of it from a business standpoint. If you are trying to get hired, why would a studio hire a ripoff of a popular artist when they can just hire the popular artists? It comes down to pricing. You can always be a ripoff artist if you price yourself cheaper. But if you put yourself and create your own style in your work, then nobody can replace you and you become much more valuable. Don't try to be somebody else that you're not. You can be influenced by other people's work, but always think what you want to show to the world. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the rest of the video and I'll see you in part three.